most growing age group in our population is those patients 65 years and older. And already they, they are the primary group of patients that we operate on. Typical diagnosis for colorectal cancer is someone in their mid-60s. And as patients, as our population ages, there's going to be more and more patients that are having treatment for colorectal cancer. Most trials don't include patients over the age of 70 years old. So we don't always know how that group is going to be affected by chemotherapy or other kind of toxic treatments. So it's really important that we kind of place a special focus on this group. Here at the CADC, there's been a focus on research in the elderly, um, and we're working to develop ways that we can decrease. We know they have higher risks of complications and higher risks of readmission, and we're in the process of studying different ways that we can decrease those risks. Some of the research that I'm doing is uh, looking at the patients that are most at risk uh, for complications and understanding how stress, emotion, depression, and anxiety all play a role in cancer treatment and cancer outcomes. And I'm also working to find ways to decrease readmission and complications. Part of the reason every surgeon goes into surgery is because they want to help patients and they want to help them get better. Part of the reason I like colorectal cancer is it's a very hopeful cancer. We have long-term good survival. We have long-term good outcomes. Um, that being said, there's always room for improvement. And so I look to my patients to help guide my research and to help me frame the questions to make their quality of life and their outcomes better.